Hello there, great people. I hope you're doing well. Greetings from Portugal, Nuno here once again. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, today, the 15th, Apple released the iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 to developers, and probably today, uh, the public, uh, it will be also available. Now, uh, I was hoping, in fact, that Apple released the final build, but no, we'll have to wait another week. But for you uh, iPhone XR uh, users, you are now able, you know, to uh, 3D touch, okay? Not 3D touch, you have haptic uh, engine, but you have now the ability to do this on your iPhone XR, okay? So, uh, of course, in this iPhone 8, you have 3D touch and iPhone 10, iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max, Max also. Now, let's go to the facts on this build. It was very, very small, guys. Uh, on this iPhone 8, 22.9, so uh, 22, 92.9, uh, so 93 megabytes, so very, very small. Uh, so minor fa bug fixes, perhaps. Let's go to the build number for this release. It is the, I hope it is on focus and in frame. It is the 16C5050A. So expect the final build next week, okay? Regarding this number, I'm hoping um, that the final build will be released next week. Now, regarding, you know, the overall, I was testing a little bit with the device. I always like, like to test, uh, you know, if there is any drop frames, I'm recording at uh, 60 frames per second. Everything seems to be pretty fluid. Let's open here some uh, folders, you know. Let's go to the App Store, opening some apps very very quick let's go to safari let's open here a new web, web page let's see how much time it takes to render okay very very nice let's go here to the um, let's go to um, let me see let's go to the geek bench okay so the geek bench for this uh, release um, results the geek bench results were this so pretty good and I'll go here to the history, to the CPU. Let me go to the history, CPU. So we had, sorry, we had, uh, let me see here. This war was the result for the beta 2 for this release. So pretty good for an iPhone 8. Uh, and of course, this was several days uh, um, after installing. This, this was the result. And now, we have this one a few, you know, uh, half an hour, still very, very good results for uh, iPhone 8, okay? Now let's open here some applications in order for us to see uh, the Safari already, already showed you. If there is anything, you know, uh, you know, if, there is, if it is quick, let's go to my videos. Let's go to the Mac Mojave videos. Perfect. I really hope to see, you know, uh, you know, the ability to have, you know, the pop-up video when we, we quit the YouTube app, but that's only available for Android users. I hope Google and YouTube implements that. But guys, the overall usage seems to be pretty fluid. There isn't anything new. I already checked. No new wallpapers for me, okay? So uh, this is displaying brightness, wallpapers, choose new wallpaper. So nothing new here to see. Um, let's see the live ones. No, nothing new. Statics, no, nothing new. Okay, this is, let me check here, the performance. No lag, guys, perfect. Of course, keep in mind, this is just a first look. Now, regarding the iPad Air first generation that I have here, I always like to check, to uh, you know, to show you this on my videos, Let, let's back up here a little bit. Um, so this iPad Air first generation, guys, uh, I already have, the, let's see the the amount that was necessary. On this iPad Air, we, it's about, you know, it's, it's less 64 gigs for this iPad Air, for this developer beta 3, 12.1.1, so pretty good. Now, as you can see, these gestures with one finger are very similar, even though we have a home button. Non, not, not, it's a non-touch uh, ID model, so you have the ability to, the, to do that. So invoke, of course, the, the, you know, the multitask 
everything seems to be I'm pretty happy there was you know a viewer a subscriber that asked me he was on 10 uh, on iOS 10 and asked me if uh, he should upgrade to iOS 12 in my opinion guys if you are on these older devices in iOS 10 keep iOS 10 okay if you are on iOS 11 you'll see a huge upgrade on these older devices I'm talking about iPad Air for example iPhone 6 iPhone 5s that uh, we have also here in the house but I'm not able to show you today probably on the follow-up video I'll show you that so let's see here if we see any drop frames here no nothing nothing major let's open here some applications of course it will take some time to render uh, this is a a7 uh, processor so it will take some time to render the pages mm -hmm. but even though it is for me for media consumption I'm more than happy and I'm very happy to know that Final Cut 10.4.4 is being upgraded great great news so the new gestures uh, pretty good let's open here let's see the multitasking on this let's invoke the dock let's put here twitch for example let's go inside see if that is yeah perfect no issues here takes some time to load yeah a lot perfect very good so guys nothing new on this iPad just for you to check let's by the way open YouTube why not let's see how much time it takes to load uh, keep in mind this is just a first look and by, am by the amount of the download this is just small tweaks nothing major for you guys in the 10R I already told you um, that's good news nice to see yeah a small leg over there perfect okay guys I think this is for now this is it uh, if there is anything new of course I'll do a follow-up video and for now keep safe and uh, I'll see you on the next one bye bye